Okay, moving on to the next guy. So the next one is uh, is the uh, the open delta. So eventually we're going to get to a closed delta, uh, but we're going to start off with the the open delta. So we're going to get to this wiring uh, here, but I'm going to do a diagram above that's going to help us to complete this wiring down here. So an open delta is a um, a connection where we have uh, two transformers and those two transformers are providing three phase out. So you don't necessarily have to have three transformers in order to create a three phase bank. So why would this be like, why would you use two transformers rather than three? Um, maybe you're stuck. Maybe one blew up and you only have two left. You can still get a three phase output. Maybe you don't need as much power. So you're going to use two transformers to create a three phase bank. So there's different reasons why you'd make use of an open delta. Maybe you're taking one out to um, like a larger transformer to do some maintenance on it. And in the time that you're doing maintenance on it, you want to still provide three phase to the building. You can still do that with the two remaining transformers. Then when that, tra that transformer has been maintained, you can put in into the circuit, take this guy out and start maintaining this one here. So it's a way that you can provide three phase with only two transformers. So the way that we, draw, we do that diagram is uh, we draw it out like this, where we've got the windings here. And we're going to connect these guys together here. And then we're going to have the open delta here. Okay, so I'm going to do the primary and then I'm going to do the secondary here. And I put these two lines to denote the iron core. Okay, on the secondary, uh, it's going to again be either in parallel or in series on the secondary side here. So I'm going to do this diagram. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this properly. Okay, so on the if it says low voltage, then just like we did on the, pr the prior diagram, that means that we're gonna do a parallel connection on the secondaries. Again, all of these transformers that we're wiring up in shop have two windings on the secondary. So we have the choice of putting them either in parallel for the low voltage or in series for the higher voltage. But let's start off with this diagram on the, on the uh, primary first. So with this guy, we're going to have to feed this guy. So we're going to feed this easy. Now what's going on, Pete? I'm going to feed this guy with uh, line one. So we're going to feed line one to here. Line two is going to go to this guy right here. And then we're going to feed line three to this bad boy over here. There we go. Okay. On our primaries, we only have single primaries and they're H1 and H2. And we only have two transformers. So this is going to be H1. This one's going to be H2. This one's going to be H1. This one's going to be H2. So this is transformer number one. And this is transformer number two, corresponding to these guys right here, right? This is going to be number one. And this is going to be number two. Okay. So looking here, if I relabel these guys, like the A, th so you'll notice that a lot of times I say the A phase, which is wrong. Um, this is the A line the B line and the C line, right? Those are external to the transformer. So those ones are actually called lines. Inside the transformer is the phase. But you'll notice that everybody in the trade calls these phases, but they're actually not phases, they're lines. So line A is gonna be tied into um, to H1, and then H2 of the first transformer is gonna to go to line two or B, and then that's also going to be the connection for H1 for the second transformer. So H1 of the second transformer is going to go to line two or B. And then finally, H2 of the second transformer is going to be tied into line three or C. So there is um, this thing where we say A to B, B to C. And normally, if we had a closed delta, we'd go C back to A. But in this case, we're just doing an open delta. So it's A to B, B to, stay, B to C, full stop. That voltage that's available in the shop is going to be uh, 208 volts. So I got 208 volts available here. And that's my line voltage that's available. And that's going to be available between um, any of the lines. So line one to two, line th two to three, and then from line one over to three, I also have 208 volts. Okay, so those guys are all my line voltage. In a delta circuit, sorry, that color is just brutal. Um, 
in a delta circuit, um, the line and the phase voltage are identical. So that means our phase voltage is also going to be 208 volts. So across each of these windings, we're going to have 208 volts available on there. Okay, we're going to use this in order to wire the transformer below. So I'm going to finish off the diagram in a minute, but I'm going to do this, uh, this wiring first. So let's use a red here. Okay, so I'm going to go from... Um, looks like line one to H1 of the first transformer. So I'm going to go A to here. Okay. Then I'm going to go B. So I'm going to go B to this guy, right? Being this being A, B, and C, right? So we got A to B and then B to C. Okay. Let's see if this matches with here. Line one to H1 of the first transformer. Line one to H1 of the first transformer. Line two to H2 of the first transformer. Very nice, so A to B, okay? Then over here, we've got uh, line two to H1. So line two to H1. And then line three is tying into H2 of the second transformer. So the C phase feeds this guy. Nice, and uh, that means that we have 208 volts on these guys, right? So that's the, our phase voltage on here. And that's where the energy is going to transfer from primary to secondary. It's on the phase, right? It's not on the line. But we can make a note here that um, our source voltage here is 208 volts, and that's our line values. Okay, so that connects up our primary of this open delta. Okay, we don't need the, the third transformer in order to get three phase out. The issue with that is that if I don't have a third transformer there, then I am limited on the amount of VA or volt amps that I can transfer from the primary to the secondary. So it does provide three phase out, but at a reduction of, uh, of VA. I think it's 58% off the top of my head. So let's take a look at uh, the secondary. We're gonna do an open volt delta on the secondary, and we're gonna do a parallel connection of the secondary windings. Two seconds. Beauty. Okay, so that'll be one transformer. And then we're going to connect that guy up to the second transformer and the windings of that guy are also going to be in parallel. Beautiful. So they correspond to these two right here. All right now the ratio of this guy um, is 1.73 to one. So we said that before if we put 208 volts to the primary, then we're going to get 120 volts available on the secondary. So each of those windings will have 120 volts. So this guy is going to have 120 volts. This guy is going to have 120 volts. This guy and this guy. Now those guys, because they're on the inside of the circuit there, those guys are going to be labeled as my phase voltages. But we know on a delta, regardless if it's open delta or closed delta, the V line is going to be equal to the V phase. So when we take that voltage from the circuit, so this guy would come out and feed line one on our secondary. This point, same as we have right here, is going to feed line two on my secondary. And then this guy is going to feed line three on the secondary. Okay, so the voltages between those guys are going to be identical to the phase voltage. So this guy is going to be 120 volts on the line. Between line 2 and line 3 is also going to be 120 volts on the line. And then between line 1 and line 3, I'm also going to have 120 volts available. So this one's a little bit messed up. Remember I said there was going to be weird voltages. This one's going to have 120 volts three phase out. Okay, the labels for these guys, uh, we said that if we have a, a low voltage connection or a parallel connection, then the same as what we had before, we had X1, X1 and X3 tied together, and X2 and X4 tied together. So we're gonna tie those guys together 
in a <laughs> parallel fashion. The dog's barking something outside. Perfect time. Okay, so um, let's label these guys. So we have X1, X3, X2, and X4. So we're gonna label these guys right here, right? So um, this one here is gonna be uh, X1. The other side of that winding is X2. This one's gonna be X3, and this one's gonna be X4. Okay, same thing over here. I got, uh, let's keep the same. On the outside, I got X1 and X2, and this guy's gonna be X3 and X4. Okay, so let's take a look. We gotta use that diagram in order to do the diagram below. Okay, so in that case, it looks like on the first transformer, so again, this is gonna be the first transformer, that's the primary of the first transformer, the secondary of the first transformer, there's our second transformer, so these guys correspond to each other. So it looks like line one is gonna be fed from that parallel connection between X1 and X3. So I'm gonna use this guy and feed line one. Okay, that corresponds to this line right here. Okay, then I've got X2 and X4, which are jumper together, and that's gonna provide me with my line two out. So my X2 and my X4 are gonna to go to line two. Right? If I label these guys A, B, and C, then this is A to B, right? And this guy should be B to C. So let's see, if I bring this one down to the B phase, does that match with this diagram? Let's see, so I've got X1 going to the B phase or line two, and it looks like X1 is going to the B phase or line two, and it's also going to X3 as well. Okay, and that leaves X2 and X4, and those guys are tying into line three. So this guy right here is gonna be connected up to line three. So I have A to B and B to C for my transformers. The output here, if we have uh, our 120 volts that's available here, then uh, between any two lines here, like if I follow the circuit, then from X1, right, from A phase, I go through X1, come over here, go through X2, and I go down to B, B there. Well, it looks like I have 120 volts available between those two points. So I got 120 volts here. I also have 120 volts available here. And I also have 120 volts available between these guys. So between any two lines on this guy, then I have 120 volts. 120 volts okay so I have 120 volts available on the line so I got 283 phase coming in and in this one I got a weird 123 phase going out okay so hopefully everything makes sense in that you understand where the voltages came from and you understand all the different connections for the open delta to open delta